a self-proclaimed professional troublemaker, sets his sights on corruption, injustice, and environmental advocacy in his self-entitled series, The Leslie Davis Show. Well, I started The Leslie Davis Show kind of because you got the Jay Leno Show, the Ed Sullivan Show, you know, over time, so I want people to know who I am. And I began the show because uh, of the destruction of the environment, our economic and educational system, and I have some ideas and opinions, I'm pretty strong ones too, and I wanted people to know about it, so I decided to go on cable television and present my positions. I learned about uh, cable access television because they were trying to make arrangements in Minneapolis for who was going to broadcast it and where the studios would be. And the uh, public would have an opportunity, uh, inexpensively, to get on television, cable television, and give their point of view. What's wrong with the environment in the state of Minnesota? We've got these sulfide mines coming in, polymet sulfide mine, open pit sulfide mining. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to support open pit sulfide mining in the state of Minnesota. I don't want to get those barrels out of Lake Superior. You know, there's a bunch of barrels in Lake Superior that were dumped there by Honeywell and a lot of other no good nicks. We're going to get those barrels out of Lake Superior. The group that I formed a number of years ago, the Earth Protectors, on my shirt, we're concerned about the protection of the environment primarily. And then the economics of uh, America, actually, uh, jobs and uh, j job creation and uh, production, but uh, primarily the protection of the environment. So what happened, it has evolved over time to where we got concerned about judicial reform and the drug war and all those issues. You know, when you get into politics, everything starts to fold into it, and that was the purpose of it. So we've been on every week now for quite a number of years, and it's really wonderful. A lot of people call, and I know they're out there watching. I used to just know how to turn on a television set and put on the volume. Now I can even use the camera. So I've come a long way with the help of the people from SPIN and MTN. Initially, in 1990 and 1991, I had a lot of money at the time, so I hired crew to help me, and we shot them in a studio, and we'd uh, put it on. But now you can get volunteers that are trained by, uh, like, SPIN in St. Paul or MTN in Minneapolis, wonderful groups of people giving great cooperation and good attention, and I learned how to do it. Well, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and moved to Minnesota in the 60s going sales and marketing for uh, a couple of companies uh, from Boston, Massachusetts. When that ended for me in the uh, 80s, I formed the Earth Protector Group, and I've been doing that uh, ever since. But that's what brought me here. I raised my family here, four children. Now I have 11 grandchildren scattered around the country a little bit. And people tell me, say they've gotten some good ideas, and in some cases, it's been a life changer for a few people. What pleases me the most about doing the show is that people call and they watch it and they've gotten some good information. When we taped our shows just the other day, um, people even that were working on the show were pretty impressed with the guests and the information. And you won't find that on regular broadcast television, you know, because they're kind of manipulated by the people that spend their money with them for advertising. But on cable access television, where I am, you can say what you want pretty much, and you can do what you want, and you're able to show points of view that are not commonly known by the public. But when we started doing the Earth Protector Show, it was focused primarily on the environment. But as I came along and learned more and more about politics, I see the inequities in the judicial system, how poorly that's being managed, how unfair many of the judges and prosecutors are. So I'm passionate about all those issues, fairness and justice and a protected environment. I ran for governor in the last election here in Minnesota, and uh, I put it on my show. I was able to promote that. But the regular media wouldn't cover me, and I think they were pretty jealous that I had my own television show. But I got to travel the state, meet a lot of people, uh, influenced a number of people. So even though I didn't win, I think I had a lot to do with influence people's uh, positions on the environment, education, and money. I used to do one show every two weeks, and that would play along. 
but now I'm going to do one every week. So I get a different show every week. So my regular viewers, and I know many of them, they contact me, they'll be able to see a different show every week. And I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, hopefully people will keep calling and keep watching and try to support and promote my ideas. It's always a challenge to produce a show. You want to get a good background and good lighting. So sometimes I'll just get a camera, stand out in the middle of the street, turn on the camera, and get in front of it. Sometimes, uh, just like uh, the other day, uh, I taped some shows, but I had a good crew helping me, helping with the lighting. And you can see the difference. In, and, and when it looks a little more professional, you come into the studio and set up the lights and get a good director. But that doesn't hold me back from doing a new show. I'll just take the camera, go out on the street, and I'll just shoot away. So uh, you can expect to see me uh, way into the future. As long as uh, there's breath in me, I'm going to be doing the show every week. If somebody wants to get involved in doing their own show, as we had uh, uh, recently some trainees, people watching along with the show, is work with somebody else that has a show that you like that you like the lighting and you like the way they present it, you like their personality, and work with them a little bit and become a crew member and before you try to jump into your own show. That was one of the things that I regret, that I didn't start working with somebody else. So it took me a lot longer to get going. If you want to know a little more about Earth Protector, you could go to uh, the Internet or you could Google Earth Protector, but it's uh, simply earthprotector.org and it'll list some of our accomplishments over the years. It has a TV schedule because we play all over the state. So uh, earthprotector.org is uh, where you can find us all the time. We're on Tuesday night, 7 p.m., St. Paul Cable Access. Tune us in. Let me hear from you.